if you want to buy a sporty sedan in India in a budget, well, your mind will go to this. This is the BMW M340i. This particular one is the LCI version. 3 liter, inline 6, turbocharged, all wheel drive. This thing is a monster. But if you want to stand out, the Audi S5 is an option too. 3 liters, V6 engine, 354 bhp, and it's also similarly tunable as the M340i's B58 to a point. So which performance sedan should be your pick? Time to find out. This is the 340i LCI, so it gets a couple of different uh, changes compared to the pre-LCI. So the bumper is different, the headlights are different, the rear bumper is different, but more or less it still is the same shape, it looks pretty similar. This particular car has a couple of M performance goodies, so it has the carbon fibre mirrors, it has the fancy looking steering wheel which is also M performance, uh, it also has the JQ Works magnetic paddles as well which are very cool uh, but yeah I really like this car in this shade of white it looks really nice really premium uh, but I think they have kind of messed up the design of the LCI I think so the pre LCI used to look much more aggressive you know used to look very nice in my opinion in my opinion the fact that the three series just looks very similar makes the M340i look more like a glorified three series than a trickled down M3 true so that's where the S5 shines. Since the A5 is not sold in India and it is a coupe style design, it is a very striking car to look at, especially in this color and in this matte PPF. And when it comes to the facelift, this has also got quite a lot of upgrades, just like the LCI did, like the grille, the new headlights, new bumper, and even in the rear, you've got a new bumper, new diffuser, new tail lights, and these beautiful brushed aluminum ORVMs too. Yeah. So in terms of design, my pick is always going to be the yeah, S5. I have to say the S5 looks really pretty and this car has a couple of standard options that even the 340i doesn't get. It has adaptive dampers as stock, uh, it gets the red brake calipers as stock, flat bottom steering wheel, BNO speakers. Yeah, this thing is properly loaded. Yeah, it is a very nice place to be in and to look at, of course. So let's open the engine base now. Yeah. So talking about the engine, in the S5, you get a 3-litre V6 engine with a massive turbo that you can actually look at right here. It's a twin-scroll turbo and it's capable of pushing out 354 bhp, 500 newton meters of torque in its stock form. But the owner has gone for a stage one map in this from E-Tuners Greece. So now it's pushing around 400-ish bhp and the torque figures have also gone up by a little bit too. All in all, the engine actually feels really nice to drive and it has a little bit of lag till 2000 rpm but after that it's a completely different animal making this a really nice daily and also a very nice car to perform at the top end yeah i and the tuning potential of these cars is also pretty nice yeah there is a stage 3 s5 uh, in bombay itself which does ridiculous quarter mile times and the good thing is that both of the cars are very similarly set up in that sense both are all wheel drive both have a very similar zf8 speed transmission Again, six-cylinder turbos, both can be tuned to pretty big horsepower numbers. But if you want just performance, this is where the BMW's B58, which is a little dusty at the moment, is actually the better motor in general. Three liter, straight six, turbocharged. Uh, the B58 is probably one of the greatest motors ever to come out of BMW in modern For times. For sure. Uh, a lot of cars in America have done like single digit quarter mile runs on stock internals and this thing is a proper monster this particular car is not tuned uh, but the lci does get a, a little hybrid system in the transmission so this is technically a mild hybrid car this makes roughly 374 bhp and 516 newton meters of torque and yeah with the x drive all wheel drive system it is a proper monster off of the line and the cool thing is something that the s5 can't do is uh, like we've done a video on it before this thing can go completely rear wheel drive uh, with a little tool uh, which can be connected to the obd port and yeah this can go completely rear wheel drive so you can do all of the slides and drifts and everything that you want which is something that the s5 just can't Cannot do. do and coming back to the tunability of it yeah the 
S5's engine can go pretty far, maybe 700, 750 bhp on a stage 3 tune. But uh, the BMW B58 can go much further on stock internals too. So this is definitely the choice to go to if you're seeking power. But again, the B58 is also known for having a lot of heat issues and that is something that the V6 in the S5 doesn't struggle by that much. So it is easier to keep a 650 bhp over here but over here it is definitely recommended that you need cooling mods for sure. compare on the move? Well, the M348 drives pretty similar to the pre-LCI car, although somehow it feels less raw and sharp in terms of the engine and gearbox. Regardless, the 340i still pulls like a freight train when it hits boost. The X-Drive system is super playful even if you keep it all-wheel drive. Put it into Sports Plus with Sport Traction gives you the perfect amount of slip without making you pee in your pants. The gearbox is snappy but the suspension is probably what might break the deal for many customers. Especially someone who is nearing their half century mark. But that stiff suspension setup is what makes the 340i handle so well. The car is completely neutral in the corners with minimal understeer on entry and minimal oversteer on exit. And that's what makes the 340i such an epic car to drive. Coming to the S5, the interior is like a luxury car. Very quiet and calm with little to no exhaust noise in comfort mode. Switch the mode to dynamic and you can start hearing the burble of the Turbo V6, which is pretty fruity to drive. This being a stage 1 car, it felt more sharp and eager than usual but in general, the S5 is a bit more blunt compared to the 340i. The gearbox in my opinion was a little less snappy than the 340i's but the engine is pretty close to as powerful enough. But there is still that slight disconnect between the driver and the road which I could not stop sensing. But that is because the S5 is more of a complete package. Yes, the S5 is more prone to be understeery than the 340i but it makes up for it in the amazing ride quality. This car is the perfect Grand Tourer with its plush suspension, quiet interiors and a massive boot. The M340i LCI is 72.9 lakh rupees X showroom and the S5 is 75.8 lakh rupees X showroom. The 340i is a CKD unit making it the fastest car made in India and the S5 is well, a CBU unit. What would your pick be? Do let us know down in the comments below. Now it comes down to totally what you prefer. Do you want a stiff, agile and sharp sports car like experience or a comfortable, quiet yet powerful GT experience? So a keen viewer on our channel will definitely be very familiar with the interior of an M340i and the LCI is just a little bit of a breath of fresh air. You now get a massive screen that uh, is basically two screens that are conjoined into one as your infotainment and your digital cluster and you are adorned with a lot of carbon fiber. The entire center console is filled with carbon fiber and through the dashboard you've also got a touch of carbon fiber and the optional extra in this car is the M Performance steering wheel which is chonky, so chonky and these JQ works magnetic Very paddles nice. are so satisfying. But the 340i has a couple of very annoying things and some things that might be actually like a make or break kind of situation. So first and the most annoying thing especially in the LCI is the infotainment system. 
graphics, animation, like how it works and everything, brilliant. But your climate control is now in the infotainment, which is very annoying. You have to take your eyes off of the road to, you know, like change your temperature and all of that. Yeah. Pretty annoying. Back seats are pretty much non-existent. It's like a coupe. I mean, you can see it right now also. I mean, you can barely fit your legs fit. in the footwell. Can fit two and a half children. Yeah. And the boot space, especially compared to that. that yeah. I mean, is. the boot space is non-existent. <laughs> but as a car, dimensions, uh, fitment and everything else, yeah, it's a very nice car. I personally really like it. It has been bolted together quite well considering it's a CKD car. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, the fit and finish is really nice. Overall, I really like it. Yeah, and the interior of the 340i is much more purposeful as a sports car. Yeah, and when it comes to uh, the driving feel itself or just the position that you drive in, the M340i, the seat is much better in terms of uh, comfort and getting into that nice GT style driving position. It's much easier to do that and you feel like you're in in that comfortable position all the time. Now, you also get electronically adjustable bolsters, which is not in uh, the S5, especially in the seat option that that specific S5 has got. And that is a very big thing that you would like in your sports car since you don't want to be thrown around. So yeah, that in my, posi in my opinion, the seats in the M340i are very nice. Yeah. But time to go and look at the S5. Cool. So I haven't sat in an S5 in a pretty long time and I have to say this interior, well, it it's not as special as probably an M3. 40i, wait, I'm just a little distracted because we're shooting a reel side by side. But yeah, I think so the M340i's uh, interior is a little bit more special because you have those little M touches here and there, which is kind of like, which is kind of annoying also because it's not an M3, but <laughs> it does feel a little bit more special. Although the fit and finish of this car is brilliant, is next level. In fact, I really like this brushed aluminum finish all over on the dashboard, on the center console, matched with the piano. And even the uh, plastics, the soft touch plastics feel so much more premium than the yeah. M340i that it just gives you a it gives you an idea of that it has been imported as is. Not a big fan of the M340i's cockpit, but this looks really nice. Although I'm not a big fan of the screen, I think so it's a little bit too small by today's standards. Yeah. I don't have a problem, but someone probably who's buying this car might have one. And it's just not as flashy or as, you know, it doesn't have that exactly. pizzazz that one. In terms of like yeah. software, it is very rudimentary, little straightforward, simple. Yeah. So it does. It does feel like it is. There's nothing to show exactly. off. Exactly. There's nothing to show exactly. off. Exactly. The M340i has uh, displays that are very fancy and movements and all of that stuff. This is very straightforward. However, the quality of the screen is fantastic. Yeah. And even the digital cluster. Yeah, is digital cluster. Amazing. I love. Amazing. Is amazing. Uh, one thing that probably the S5 has is back seats. Is probably the back adults. seat space, but I think so. The M340 has better headroom at the back. Better headroom, yeah, since it's because uh, it's pretty dark over yeah, there the in the back. The sport back does remove a little bit of. But headroom. you get something else with the sport back. A massive cuff boot. Yeah, you, you get so much space behind. Yeah. This is a proper tourer. Like you yeah. can go cross country in it, no problem yeah. at all. Yeah, and another good thing is that it comes with adaptive suspension. So it's comfortable when you need it and when you don't, you can just put it in dynamic and it is a really nice car. It's completely different to drive. It's very comfortable still, but uh, when you need it, it's yep. got more than enough performance in terms of dynamics too. So if you are someone looking for outright performance, proper sports car feels, well, the M340i is the pick for you. I mean, it has super stiff suspension, an amazing engine, and it drives like a sports car. I mean, it's very uncomfortable if you're looking to tour in it or, you know, use it as a daily because the suspension is pretty, pretty stiff. But as a driving machine, the 340i takes the cake. For sure. And it's... Uh its ceiling is very far up. You can be basically be pushing 850 bhp just on bolt-ons. Whereas the S5 has a different uh, strong point, which is its all of its personas can be exploited 
any time anywhere it is a sporty car that can be driven normally it is a very good tourer and it's also very enjoyable to drive when you're trying to ring it out so if you do want something that's more versatile and with a bit more wow factor the s5 is all you need but if you want to put a ferrari in its place or if you want to just put people into gapelbees the 340i is the canvas for you this thing can make insane horsepower and do insane quarter mile times without breaking a sweat so let us know in the comments down below what your choice is would you pick the b9.5 audi s5 or the bmw m340i lci comment down below subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one my name is bangi daswani that's so i'm sarah bye